Hello, uh, in this video we will be looking at um, plan 2 out of our 3 plans to see which plan is more cost effective and which is more well suited for our company's uh, requirement. In our last video we looked at plan 1 and in this video we will be looking at the procedures and methodology to proceed with plan 2. Now what is plan 1? See, let's just look at plan 1. Plan 1 says we need to find and we need to maintain a constant workforce at a level necessary to meet the average demand, which is a level strategy. And we had to find two main things. We had to find the average demand and we need to find the number of workforce, which is constant, to meet this average demand. It's a similar strategy that we are using in Plan 2 as well. We need to maintain a constant workforce at a level necessary to meet the lowest demand and to meet all the demand above this level by subcontracting. So basically, we are introduced to, we're given a choice where we can produce um, within the company, we can produce the lowest demand within the company, and everything above this can be um, subcontracted and can be outsourced to other companies. So we are introduced to a new choice. In, in the previous plan, we, we had to have a constant workforce just to meet the average just the average. We had nothing else. We couldn't subcontract anything. We couldn't uh, leave a part of nothing. We could just only produce the average demand. But here we can, we have an option where we can, we have to meet the lowest demand and everything above this, we can um, reduce the tension by um, outsourcing it to other companies. So we are back to this table again, and uh, I'll just go through this table very quickly. It's a six-month period, and we have an expected demand that we need to uh, reach for each month. And the production days is the number of uh, days we'll be uh, working for each month. So for January, we will be working for 22 days in total. And the demand per day is going to be the expected demand divided by the production day. So that's 900 divided by 22. For per day, we need to be producing 41 units, right? Uh, so, like I said, so we need to find the lowest demand and that lowest demand will be produced within the company. So our first question here is going to be calculate the in-house production needed. So if we look at a demand per day, for each month, we have to produce a certain amount of units, right? That's clear. So we need to find the lowest demand. So out of the six months, we can see that in the month of March, we're producing the lowest demand of 38. So we take that 38... Multiply that by the total production days, 124, which will be 4,712. So why this 38? 38 is the lowest uh, demand that we are trying to meet from our plan to statement here. And 124 because we need to be produce we need to be producing 38 units for the entire six months for the entire 124 days that we will be operating in. So that's going to be 4,712, right? So out of we have and um, okay, I'll, I'll continue that. So our second question is to calculate the number of subcontracted units. So this is how much we will be outsourcing. Now, how much will we be outsourcing? Uh, so if we look at our expected demand, that was that was something I was trying to say earlier. So we have our expected demand total, that is 6,200. You take that total, you deduct our in-house production, and you will be left with 1,488 units. So basically, you can say that um, for the number of our expected demand, to meet this expected demand, some can be produced within the company, your own company, and some can be outsourced. So by taking the total uh, minus the um, in-house production is how we get the number of units to be subcontracted outside. So 6,200 minus our in-house production is our subcontracting, our outsourcing production. That's going to be 1,488 units. Now we need to find the regular time labor cost. So now this is the cost for us producing in within the company. How is how much is that going to be? So if you've seen my previous video, uh, I've told you a way to know. Uh, told you a way that can help you to find out each variable on its own so that you don't miss out anything. So we need to know what the regular rate is going to be. So to find the regular rate, we look at our data here. 
uh, that uh, provides us the different pay rates, the cost for um, the, every business that they have to carry. So our regular uh, regular rate, that's our pay rate. How much are we going to pay our workers for the total time that they've been uh, working? How much is that going to be? So if you look at our average pay rate, that's going to be $80 per day. That's eight hours. Eight hours a day, so they're going to get $80 per day, $10 per hour. So you take that $80, right? Multiply the time. How long are they going to be working for for them to receive eighty dollars a day? That's going to be one twenty four days because they'll be operating for one twenty four days. Uh, so that's so we're going to have one twenty four multiplied by labor. How much is our labor going to be? So in a previous video, we also faced the same condition that we have to find the labor, and that's also something constant we have to find about plan two. We need to find the constant workforce. Now I'll tell you right now how to find that. So we need our uh, data sheet again, right? So if we look here, we, this is our main important one. The labor hours to produce a unit. So to produce one unit, how many hours do we need? We need 1.6 hours. So in eight hours, or in one day, in one because in, for one day we are operating for eight hours. So in eight hours, how many units can we produce? So we can see after cross multiple, I'm sorry, I couldn't say that. So for one unit, um, we can produce 1.6 hours. And for eight hours, how many units can we produce? So that's, we'll get that by cross multiplying. So eight, 1.6, so it's going to be five units. So for eight hours, we can produce five units. Uh, so our lowest demand here, we are trying to meet um, the demand, the lowest demand that is 38, right? So we divide 38 divided by 5, that is 7.6. So we need 7.6 workers uh, to meet the uh, to meet the lowest demand. Okay, so our uh, labor is going to be 7.6. That's going to be. 75,392 so um, if you see my previous video I do explain this a little more elaborately but uh, what you need to know is that you need to have this um, data sheet to help you uh, proceed with this step so if you need to know how many um, uh, units you can produce in 1.6 hours and how many units you can produce in the total in one single day and with that, you divide that by the, the demand that we need, the demand that we are trying to meet, the lowest demand. In the previous, it was the average demand. So it'll be average demand divided by the um, number of units. Uh, so here we, it's 38, so 38 divided by five, it's 7.6 workers. All right, so that's going to be 75, the regular labor cost is going to be 75,392. Now to calculate the subcontracting cost, this is the really easy part. So we have found out earlier that our subcontract unit is 1,488. You take that and you observe our data sheet again and look at the subcontracting cost per unit. That's right here. That's $20 per unit. So 1,488 multiplied by 20, that's going to be $29,760. Okay, and our final question is um, calculate the total cost of plan two. So this basically means for you to just sum up the regular time labor cost and the subcontracting cost. So that's going to be 75,392 plus 29,760, which is going to be $105,152. $105, uh, uh, that's going to be our total cost of plan two. Now, how do we get that? So this total cost includes the cost for us to produce um, in the company that's within uh, within the company and the cost for us outsourcing. That's, that's the total cost of plan two. How much we're producing within the company, the regular time labor cost, and the cost of us outsourcing. That's what's unique about plan two. Uh, so if you have any, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, um, don't hesitate to uh, uh, to comment down below and ask me. I will reply. And if you found this video helpful, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, you can comment down to for any other videos that you want me to cover upon. And uh, thank you for watching.